hate you. I'm going to tell my aunt chick. Hey, do I just bust into your room? Get out. Miles, I know you're not up here smoking. That joint was yours. Are these kosher? Ever caught yourself deep in the feelings? Pondering the fate of those irresistibly cute black child stars who used to dominate our TV screens? You know, those little scene stealers who were all the rage, then poof, vanish like my motivation on a Monday morning. Well, buckle up, folks, because today we're diving headfirst into the Where Are They Now files. We're tracking down 16 of those once ubiquitous child prodigies to spill the tea on their grown-up gigs. So snatch up your snacks and saddle up for a nostalgia-fueled ride down memory lane with a side of juicy updates as we reconnect with the pint-sized powerhouses of our past. All right, I'll stay, but not because I'm scared and not because of that reverse psychology you tried to use on me. Ever ponder how Ross Bagley went from adorable tot to a Hollywood sensation by age six? Picture this. In one whirlwind year, he snagged not one but two remarkable roles. First, he won our hearts as Buckwheat in The Little Rascals, then swiftly pivoted to charm us as Nicky on The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air with none other than Will Smith. How's that for a double feature? After sampling a bit of TV and film fame, Ross decided to swap the red carpet for a more subdued life. Can you believe it? Today, he's juggling roles of a different kind. A dedicated father to his son, Reese. A DJ by night, a real estate aficionado by day. And even a corporate finance recruiter. Sitting pretty with an estimated net worth of 400 k Ross is essentially saying, Hollywood who? While thoroughly enjoying every moment. Who knew life could be so rich off screen? Sorry I called your mother a hoe. And you sorry about teasing me about being left back three times? Bite already. I said I was sorry. Zelda was the child star who lit up the screen in Crooklyn and the Babysitter's Club back in the day. But after gracing our screens for 23 years, she decided to bid adieu to Hollywood and pursue her passion for music. These days, you can catch Zelda slaying as the lead singer of her band, Zelda and the Lolo while also rocking it as a teacher, spreading her love for music and education to the next generation. And let's not forget about her bank account. At just 37 years old, she's already sitting pretty with a cool 500K to her name, according to the Gossip Mill. Ooh, I hate you! Next on our list is Kiki Palmer, a.k.a. Lauren Kiana Palmer. She stormed into our hearts playing the sassy niece of Queen Latifah in Barbershop 2 and had us rooting for her in Aquila and the Bee. But honey, Kiki ain't just a one-trick pony from her kiddo days. She's been serving looks and talent left and right from her killer role as Zayday Williams in Scream Queens to owning the screen as Emerald Haywood in Jordan Peele's No. This girl's range? Unreal. Guys, she even sings. But hold up, because Kiki was just warming up. Back in 2014, when she was only 21, she smashed records by becoming the youngest talk show host ever with Just Kiki on BET. Fast forward to 2019, and she's getting props on the Time 100 Next list. Talk about making moves. And because being a mega-talented actress wasn't enough, Kiki went ahead and launched Big Boss Entertainment. Because why I play the game when you can own the board, am I right? Now, let's sip some tea on our personal life. Kiki and her then beau Darius Jackson welcomed their bundle of joy, Leotis Andrelton, in February 2023. But things got real when she filed for a restraining order against Jackson, citing violence. Through it all, Kiki's bank account hasn't been crying. Sitting at a lush $7.5 million net worth in 2024, per CelebrityNetWorth.com. Isn't isn't Kiki just the definition of handling her business and thriving, no matter what life throws her way? With your daddy. I don't have a daddy. <gasps> Let's dish on Parker McKenna Posey, who's been on a glow-up journey from her child star days to becoming a total Instagram queen. Can you believe she landed her first gig at the ripe age of six back in 2001? She had us all wrapped around her little finger until the show said its goodbyes in 2004. Flash forward, and Parker's not a little girl anymore. She's slaying at 28 with a jaw-dropping 1.6 million followers lighting up her Instagram. But this girl's not just about the 
those Insta likes, she's a full-on boss babe, diving into the entrepreneur life with her own swimwear brand, Honey Dip Swimwear. Talk about making waves. And just when you thought she couldn't possibly do more, Parker's also killing it on YouTube. With a net worth chilling at around $1.5 million, she's basically living every girl's dream. Inspiring much? You bet. Parker McKenna Posey is here to show us all how it's done, one fabulous step at a time. Who's ready to follow in her footsteps? I keep thinking about Johnny, and I don't want to anymore. You might remember her as Lizzie Sutton on Lincoln Heights, but she's been keeping busy since then. From slang on Empire to shining and surviving Compton, Dre, Suge, and Michelle, she's been hustling hard. And let's not forget her OG days, making appearances on classics like Seventh Heaven and ER. But Ryan isn't just about acting. She's also got pipes. Her debut album, Pretty Girl, dropped in 2019, showcasing her killer vocals and musical talent. She's also using her platform to make a difference. Whether she's speaking out on social issues or uplifting others, Ryan is all about spreading positivity and empowerment. Now that's a true queen. Stop! Ah! What? The egg is my class project. What are you talking about? The egg is my baby. Next on our list is none other than Tyler James Williams, the guy who totally captured our hearts playing the young Chris Rock in Everybody Hates Chris. Can you believe how he's been shining through Hollywood, even while battling Crohn's disease? Talk about a real trooper. Tyler's now schooling us all in his latest role as Gregory, the coolest substitute teacher you'll ever see on ABC's hit comedy, Abbott Elementary. From being a student on screen to stepping up as the teacher. That's some full circle moment, right? And let's not skip over the juicy part. His bank account is looking pretty sweet too, with a net worth estimated at a cool seven million. Tyler James Williams isn't just playing in Hollywood, he's totally owning it. Seriously, what's next for this powerhouse? We're all here for it. You're not gonna tell mom and dad about this, are you? Not if the price is right. Have you heard about Jamie Foxworth from Family Matters? Yep, the one who played Judy Winslow and then, poof, vanished from the show like she was never there, leaving all of us going, wait, what happened? Well, let me spill the tea. Behind those TV screens, Jamie was dealing with a whole lot, including some intense salary drama with the producers. But it gets even more intense. After she dipped from Family Matters, Jamie took a walk on the wild side, stepping into the adult film industry under the alias Crave, all while wrestling with addiction. Here comes the comeback story we live for. In 2005, Jamie kicked the adult biz and addiction to the curb, stepping into a whole new vibe of sobriety. And just when you thought things couldn't get any brighter, in 2007, she embraced motherhood, welcoming her first kiddo into the world. Our girl Jamie, she's a total boss babe now, owning her story and leaving those shadows in the dust. Talk about a glow up. I was scared, but I know that if I didn't tell my dad about those guys, Guys, I'd probably still be tied to that chair. This is Michonne Tariq Ratliff, the heartthrob born on the chilly day of February 3rd, 1993. This dude is the whole package. We're talking singer, dancer, and actor rolled into one. Been lighting up stages and screens since he was just a tiny six years old, believe it or not. And of course, here's where it gets juicy. Michonne really hit the big time with his role as Taylor Tay Sutton on the ABC family hit Lincoln Heights. But but don't get it twisted, his acting is just one slice of the pie. One of his most recent shows is Last Call. This guy has been all over, from belting out tunes on Soul Train to showing off his moves on America's Most Talented Kid, not to mention appearances on The Monique Show and tearing it up on BET's 106 in part. Isn't it wild? He started in the music biz, and now he's that kid from Lincoln Heights. But hey, who's complaining? Michonne's proven he's got layers, and we're all here watching waiting to see what he'll pull off next. So what do you think? Will we see more of Mashan the actor? Or is he gonna drop some awesome tracks soon? The man who knocked the heart off Hagler's head. He's the best. He's the greatest. He's my dad. Scott made waves as Jasmine. Officer, do you know who this man is? Shaker. Officer. 
Don't you know who this man is? In the hit movie, True Beverly Hills. But her acting journey didn't stop there. She continued to grace our screens in TV sitcoms like South Central and The Parenthood, as well as touring as Dorothy in The Wiz. But Scott's talents don't end with acting. She's also making waves as a recording artist, focusing on her music career in Los Angeles. After a 20-year hiatus from acting, she made a comeback in the indie movie Bluest Moon in 2018, while also dropping her EP, Moon Child. What a multi-talented powerhouse. My dad gets kind of moody when people don't pay their bill. Remember Wesley Jonathan, that baby-faced cutie with the killer dimples and smile that could light up a room from City Guys? Oh, those were the days from 1997 to 2001 when he had us all hooked as Jamal Abdul Grant navigating the roller coaster that is high school. Now, can you believe Wesley's hit the big four or five and is absolutely living the dream? Back in 2016, he said I do to the love of his life, Tamara Mitchell, and now they're doting parents to their adorable daughter, Faye. While they're all about keeping things on the down low, they do bless us with glimpses into their fairy tale life every now and then, making us all go awe over their sweet, sweet love. Isn't it just the best when our fave stars find their happily ever after? Who else is craving more sneak peeks into the Wesley's picture-perfect life? It's nice meeting you, Austin. Nice meeting you too, Ryan. <laughs> Jeffrey Wood, born on December 22, 1986, made a name for himself as an American actor, particularly remembered for his role as Austin Warren in the sitcom In the House and Jimmy Harrison on Sunset Beach. But there's more to Jeffrey than just acting. In his early teens, he dipped his toes into the world of hip-hop under the name j Dub. His mixtape The Captain gained popularity in 2012, followed by his final album Insomnia in 2013. In 2017, Jeffrey showcased his talent in the gaming world, starring alongside Nathan Fillion in the live-action trailer for the hit video game Destiny 2. Such versatility. Thanks. It was made with love. Hmm. Love tastes a lot like eggshells. Who would have guessed Moesha's little bro would take such a wild ride? Back in 2013, Polk made headlines for all the wrong reasons when he got arrested for domestic violence against his ex-girlfriend. And the drama didn't stop there. He got busted for DUI and drugs in 2015. But fast forward to today, and Polk's flipping the script. He's now a model and is also flexing his creative muscles as an actor, producer, creative director and artist, according to his Insta. You go, boy. Nick, you missed everything. Did you guys eat the cake? No. <laughs> Did I ride on time? <laughs> Curtis Williams from The Parenthood had such a wild ride after TV. He was a regular on Jay Leno's show, even getting his first go-kart live on TV. Plus, he rocked the cover of Jet Magazine and won Young Artist Awards twice. He even had a Reebok deal in 97. After college, he popped up on That's So Raven and Cold Case. And now, he's dropping bars with the hip-hop crew, 2-9. And then, this fast baby hoochie mama came around trying to who could forget Ashley Amari Adams, a.k.a. Cece, from The Parenthood? She was the absolute sweetheart of the Peterson clan. And let's not forget her adorable voice as Teddy in Baby Geniuses. But since her days on Girlfriends, Ashley seems to have taken a chill pill and stepped away from the spotlight. However, her Twitter bio hints that she still got the acting bug. Could we see her back on our screen soon? Only time will tell. I just wanted to tell you that I saw you in school today, and you look really, really <laughs> Marquise Houston, better known as Roger from Sister Sister, went from TV nuisance to R&B star. After the show, he pursued solo music but didn't ditch acting, starring in hits like You Got Served and Fat Albert. And here's the plot twist. Marquise is now a practicing Jehovah's Witness. He met his wife, Maya Dickey, at a Jehovah's Witness event in 2018, and they tied the knot in 2020. They also welcomed their daughter, Zara, in December of the following year. Looks like Marquise is living his best life both on and off the screen. No, I wouldn't. You have to earn my love. A man doesn't have to earn love. A woman gives it to him automatically. Remember Dion Richmond as Kenny on The Cosby Show? He's famously known as Lovable Bud from The Cosby Show. And he has certainly come a long way from his days as Rudy Huxtable's amusing sidekick. Born on 
April 2nd, 1978 in New York City, Richmond dove into the acting world early, quickly making a mark with his natural charm and undeniable talent. His role as Kenny brought laughter to countless homes, cementing his place in our hearts and on the small screen. But Richmond didn't just rest on his childhood laurels. He skillfully navigated the tricky transition from child star to accomplished adult actor. His filmography expanded to include roles in films like Scream 3, showcasing his ability to tackle diverse characters, and television shows such as Sister Sister, proving his staying power in an industry that's not always kind to its youthful stars. Off the screen, Richmond has embraced a somewhat private life, especially when it comes to his journey as a father. It's a role he seems to cherish as much as any he's played on screen, offering rare but heartwarming peeks into his family life through social media. That kid we love is now 45, but there's been some confusion about Dion's backstory. Multiple sites have mistakenly reported that he battled both colon and breast cancer and even graduated from Texas Christian University to become a disc jockey. But here's the twist. Those details actually belong to the late Price is Right announcer Rod Roddy. Dion set the record straight on Twitter, saying he never had cancer. From heartwarming success stories to unexpected twists and turns, these kids, now adults, reminds us that life after fame can take many paths. Who knows? Maybe we'll see more of them back in the limelight one day. Who would you like to see back in the spotlight? Let us know in the comments.